Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna share with you a very big boxy charm pop up and later drop shop haul. I was telling you in my last boxy charm battle of boxes video that I have uh, placed several orders on boxy charm prior uh, finishing my subscriptions and I have few orders that I received and I have accumulated everything in a huge haul. First I'm going to share with you the products that I purchased during summer, July and August. And after that, I think in September I haven't placed anything, the uh, drop shop is from October. So you haven't heard about Boxy Charm. they are a huge subscription box that ships in the US and Canada. They also have a shop where they are selling for a very good price the products that were not shopped one uh, particular month or also I think they are purchasing uh, products for a very good price from the brands and they are selling through their website so it's a good deal actually I think this is worth even more than having a subscription because on subscription the chances are that you like all the products or you don't like anything on a particular month but when they shop on their website you can pick up exactly the products that you want and they are highly discounted up to 80% or so. No more rambling first I want to share with you this Kaja set that I picked up. So this retails for $39. I will uh, look up and see if it's available or not because I'm going to include this also on the gift guide video recommendation that I'm going to put up on my channel. I think that video will be up prior to this. Actually, I'm pre-recording this video on the Thanksgiving day. This is coming with a um, bronzer. It's coming with a lipstick, a few eyeshadows. I think this is a powder and um, this is a uh, cream blush. The rest of the products that I have from uh, July and August are kept on this uh, Huda Beauty cosmetics bag. So in no particular order, I'm going to start with one product that is a repurchase for me and this is by Dura Cosmetics. If you are with me on my channel, you will uh, learn about me that no matter how many lip liners I've tried and I have some that I love, my holy grail it still hasn't changed and is the drawer cosmetics bell air lip liner i have one that has to retire maybe i'm going to swatch it for you the formula is everything i need so after a few minutes it sets and stays all day on your lips also i love this shade i think it's complementing the best my lips and my skin tone and i haven't found as of now a dupe that it will um, make me love it less than I do. So this is my old time and this is the second backup. I have another backup in my drawer. Then I have uh, finally gotten a shade from a Bite Beauty lipstick that it's wearable for me because I remember I got one earlier in a uh, boxy charm and I didn't like it. Power Move Creamy Matte Lip Crayon and I have the shade Sugar Cane. I love this slick packaging and I always wanted to have a Bite Beauty product and actually it's working perfectly with the Drawer Cosmetics lip liner. I'm going to put everything back on the boxes because if I'm going to do a try on I want to show also the original packaging. Then this is by Dose of Colors. I loved the formula. I have received another one from Boxy Charm and this was also $3 so I have, I have this in the shade cloud wine and this can be also used as a lip liner i think i might have gotten this for lips because i do not have a, a very dark color so probably this was in my mind when i purchased this because i usually don't put that type of shade on my <laughs> upper line area then i got this mask guys i remember this was one dollar this is by sweet chief and it's a kale plus vitamin b fresh pressed sheet mask and look how adorable it is. I haven't used it of course and I have a backlog of um, face masks that I need to use but I wanted to get it especially for the price. I have a Smashbox trio. I remember when uh, those trio were so popular 
and I think I might pay for this also three dollars maybe I will put the prices because I have the order confirmation and you are able to tell but just I want to point because um, some of the prices I remember so this is in the shade show mass okay from a romance show mass and you have three shadows they are setting shimmery finish the pigmentation is really good Ooh. They are actually really nice. Now that I swatch it, I'm going to keep it. I was not uh, thinking that I'm going to keep it, but yeah. And that's uh, okay because I do not have many products from Smashbox. Then, <laughs> I think I'm late to the party and I'm the last person on this uh, YouTube beauty community that hasn't tried the Benefit Gimme Brow. So when I've seen it on... Um, pop up I said this should be mine and I grabbed the shade free I'm not going to open it because I have several brow pencils or brow setting gels that I need to use but I think this is the full size but it's so small you know me that I'm a brush aholic so I have seen this Zoeva 111 Petit Face Finish Brush she's extremely soft and yeah I can definitely tell that you can set your face it's a very versatile uh, brush and it's also really pretty. So it's the brush 111, if I haven't said it. The Petit Face brush. Of course, I'm a very, very big fan of Makeup Forever formula. So I have found this artist face color on a really good price. And it's coming with two face products, but I think you can safely wear this as your eyeshadow those are like a blush and highlighter but i think they are a bit deep for me to use it for that purpose so they will be used as a eye makeup i absolutely love makeup forever and it's coming it, it started to be a more underrated brand here on uh, beauty community then i have seen someone getting in their uh, boxes this duo this is by Pinky Rose Cosmetics and look at this pretty package. This is a co copper shade. So this is jazz and this is hip hop. So this is matte so you can use it to or instead of your eyelid primer. I have a Marc Jacobs Pout Liner in the shade Prime Rose. Marc Jacobs sadly is a brand that has retired this is very similar with the Dior Cosmetics. Where are you? The Dior Cosmetics, the one on the top, it's a bit pinkier. Then I got two maxi lashes that are on the style classy lash and bossy lash. Of course, those were opened by custom. This is the lucky shipment that was held in custom for one month. So I'm looking forward to try them together with the full size of the Maxi Lash Liner, the Liquid Magnetic Eyeliner, which is not your basic eyeliner. I have a Milk Makeup. This is a Kush or Kush Lip Balm in the shade Bubble. It's gorgeous. Okay, this is how it looks like. Then I've gotten the only product that I own for, from a brand that I wanted to try from such a long time and I was so bumped up that I was uh, cancelling my BoxyCharm premium for the month of November because I'm, I was going to get a palette from that brand so I have from Persona Cosmetics which um, it's founded by Zona Gasparian and she's a YouTuber that I have learned a lot from her. She's a makeup artist that has a YouTube channel. She's quite from a long time on YouTube and I'm following her maybe from my beginning of uh, watching YouTube videos. I was so excited when I've seen that they have uh, one of her new products. This is the Bronze Multi Stick eyes cheeks and lips and i have mine in the shade june i was trying it once and i was feeling that it's a bit warm for me i think it's even warmer than the milk makeup bronzer one that i had but it's 
way more creamy and it melts like a dream so i think for summer it will be a really good uh, bronzer option i think i'm going to wash my hands i need to make a break actually why to wash my hands when i have a fancy pack of eye makeup or makeup remover wipes and i actually could say that it does a good job of removing the swatches so i'm going to keep it handy next i have a manicure set because i am looking from several years to find a good scissors for my cuticles not that i want to cut my cuticles i even don't have cuticles but oh. i have some uh, pieces of nail that they are in growing and the scissors that i have they are even not sharp enough to cut or they are too sharp and i'm uh, harming myself so i'm searching for the perfect cuticle scissor to do that i had one and my husband has done with it i uh, told you in one of my get ready with me videos that he was cutting some pieces of cables on a vacation and that scissor is not performing i need a scissor to open this if you can believe that it's coming with a lovely case this is the case but now i can say that here there is no scissor i still haven't fixed my issue i still need a scissor ah okay and i have two products that they were um part of pr that i got from uh, ensa so i have the skin on skin bc foundation full coverage foundation with spf 40 and is in a squeezy tube and a concealer from ensa this is a bit light for me now uh, i finished with the orders that i have placed on uh, pop-up and in october they changed their store is no longer called pop-up shop it's the drop shop or uh, they also have the mega drop shop i don't know which one it was just i uh, bought a few products and i have put them in another huda beauty bag i um wanted from a long time to try the farsali this is the skin t skin tune blur perfecting priming serum i think this is a mini and it has 10 mils oh it's white Oh, but I can tell that it's blurring. Then I have a product from a brand that also I cannot get it here. So I was really excited when I've seen they have brought it to Baxi Charm. This is the M Cosmetics, the Color Drops Serum Blush. I have mine in the shade Rose Milk. And if you hear some noise, this is my daughter who is no longer sleeping or napping in the afternoon so this is how it looks like it's by m cosmetics oh, it's quite pigmented but it's a nice shade my friend tracy from the little makeup channel she loves m cosmetics so i was all the time wanting to try something from the brand and i know her blushes are really popular so hence I got this. This Smashbox Camera Ready. This is a highlighter brush, I think. Precise highlighting brush. It was um, only $10, so I couldn't let it her stay there because I know how good are those brushes. And those brushes have a special shape. I can see myself actually using this brush for a concealer. I think it's really good for packing your concealer. It's really soft and it has this angle it's good for concealer i think i'm going to use it for this purpose then i finally finally got my first mac shadow so i have the ripened which is a matte shade and the couture copper or copper couture those are singles it's actually gorgeous it's a beautiful shade it's glorious look at this color guys it has a wonderful shift to it and this is the ripened they didn't have too many choices and anyway this is like five dollars so it's quite uh, it's quite pricey for uh, the pop-up website considering the fact for that for five or six dollars you can buy a actual eyeshadow palette i got three other singles by those of colors so i have the caffeine queen 
the I need space and the look and key. I don't know what got into me to buy singles because I'm more a Hallett girl. Ah, okay, the blocky party eyeshadow. This was coming broken, so I had to repress it. I didn't do a really good job, especially because this is like a pressed glitter, so you need probably a special solution to press this, but yeah, they are coming in this lovely packaging and it's also coming with a mirror. I think they all were three dollars. This is the Pinky Rose Cosmetics and I got this Center Stage eyeshadow palette from the Spotlight Collection and wait to see. Look at those shades. If they perform as they look like, I think I'm going to be very happy. I haven't heard about this brand prior finding it on uh, Baxi Charm and it's a cruelty-free brand as well. Speaking about those of colors, I have another four products from them. I think uh, three of them or two of them are lip liners. So I have the shade Floral, Cal Cloud Wine. Don't I have another one? Yeah, <laughs> okay. So I have one eyeliner that is dupe because I haven't swatched this, I'm going to put it aside. This is Over Drown in the floral one. I love this color. I do not have this type of lip liner, so I love it. They are extremely creamy, or extremely, extremely creamy, sorry. And the last um, product from the Dose of Colors, it's a eyeliner in the shade Pencil Me In, which is a matte gray liner. And this is how it swatches. The last product that I got from Baxi Charm, it was this Laura Mercier Rouge Essential. I have it in the shade Rose Ultimate. Look at this beautiful packaging. Okay, it's playing with my ring light. And this is the shade. Now, <laughs> the shade is something else that I was expecting. It's a bit too pink for me, so I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it. I'm not going to swatch it, just in case that I'm deciding not to keep it, but love the packaging and it, it's magnetic. I'm going to bring the products that I got as a PR from Murad and then I'm calling off this haul. I received this acne control clarifying cleanser formulated for oily skin. So this is the skin type that I have. And I have used it and love it, but I was keeping the packaging just to show you how it looks like. I absolutely love this cleanser. This is the Daily Clarifying Peel with AHA, BHA and Retinoid. So this is like a toner, I would say and it's dual face. I'm absolutely loving mirrored products. I actually finished a face cream for them, from them, so loving this product. This is sadly my last USA haul slash PR, but those being said, please let me know what was your favorite product or products from this haul. And also if you have tried some of those products, I would like to hear that from you. Stay tuned for uh, try on videos uh, using the product that I've shown you on this video. And other than that, if you have some other questions, do not hesitate to let them down below in the comment section area. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. I hope you'll have a fantastic day and I'm going to see you soon in my next video. Bye!